another old abandoned house in the middle of the Scottish Highlands. Let's go and have a look. So the story behind this one, just as early as the 1990s was the last person that lived in this house. And there was a roof on it at that time, but unfortunately they had a fire. And obviously when they had the fire they lost all the belongings. So let's go and see if we can get a look inside. What a poor wee house in the middle of nowhere. You can see pretty much abandoned their old trailers an old car axle there what else do we have? part of an old wheelbarrow maybe yep even their old wheelbarrow some old I'm pretty sure they're Land Rover bases I'm not too sure but somebody will know and there's the house itself let's go and have a look it is absolutely wild in this glen today a lovely rainbow in the background there. I'm pretty sure this house will go back to probably as early as the 16th century as well. Let's have a look. You can see the damage, the fire. As soon as the roof went down, that was the end of it, unfortunately. And there is grants available for these old houses to keep them weather tight. You get a grant for the roof. And I mean, they were certainly well built. You don't get many houses built with that quality timber anymore. It would need to be built strong. And look at the walls itself. The walls itself are over three feet wide. So let's go and have a look inside this one, the old door. You can see there somebody has been at it. You can tell it's as early as the 1990s. Because that is pretty new rendering work there. So it looks like they were trying to salvage it at the time, but unfortunately the roof came down and I think that's it, pretty much had it now, which is unfortunate, very unfortunate. I hate to see these houses going to ruin. I'm doing the go and saving it, but they just couldn't. Imagine looking out to that every day. Birds have even been in. Wee Highland Wren, possibly. Old fireplace. To be hardcore to live in this part of the islands. It's absolutely blowing a gale out there today. It's absolutely wild. Wild is not the word. An old cupboard there. Another great view from the window. I'd live here all day long. Put a roof on this. I don't even need much electric. I could get water for the burn. I'd be quite happy living here. Another old fireplace shows you the importance of having a fire, especially in an area like this. Anything up the chimney? Such a pity. Such a pity. And there's where it all collapsed in in itself. Such a shame. Such a shame to see all these buildings go to waste. Nobody can afford the way they once were. Really sad. Another window there. Let's go round the side. Look, they even left their old lawnmower. Let's see if we can wait in a wee calm in the wind. Here is absolutely wild. Let's go around and have a look at the sheds. Such a pity. Let's see if I can find a date on it. If not, I'll have a look at the old maps and I'll find it on there. Such a shame. You wonder how it caught fire. I 
once farmed this area. Probably farmed for hundreds of years. Such a shame. Another outbuilding here. Partly which would have once been their old cupboards. Or maybe even this was another little outhouse. Possibly another room. Such a shame to see it go to waste like this. You can see that back wall's just about to cave in, it's all beveled there. Such a shame. Lovely wee house in the middle of nowhere. I'm sure a lot of us would love to stay here in this modern day and age. Another remains of an old trailer there by the looks of it. An old BMX. That's coming back to the 1990s there. Maybe even earlier with that lawnmower. Scraps of old gas cans. Bits and bobs that have once been at home. An old riddle. Uh, what are they things called where they squeeze the washing out? That looks like an old washing machine type thing as well. A massive tarp where they obviously tried to save the roof after it went. Some suspicious looking duct in there. Now I'm wondering where they're trying to grow cannabis in this old house in the middle of nowhere. Perfect place to do it. Why else would there be a massive bit of ducting like that? And a tarpaulin, possibly growing cannabis. I mean, there'll be nobody here for miles, so who's going to smell it? Or get anything to say about it? It would be a shame for the old house to get destroyed by greed. Here we have some old truck engines, I would say. So you're going back in time there with them. Some big sheets of cast iron. Yep, they would have probably been one in the, the vehicles in the front. They were obviously trying to restore them. Let me see if I can see what they'd have been. Azuzu motors. So yeah, they'd have been big trucks at the time, I think. Such a shame. What else have we got here? Some sort of radio. Hey. Very sad to see old houses like this go to wreck. Now we'll just continue to sit here in the middle of this plane until it just looks like a pile of rubble. Thanks for watching. Feel free to follow. Sorry for the wind noise, but we are in the middle of Scottish Glen. You can hear the deer in the background there howling up the hill. Rotten time. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.